Hey guys, Scott Short here at Empire Home Loan Corporation. My NLS number is 225-998. My California DRE license number is 0107-4493. And here we are with our good friend. Hi, I'm Sarah Perkins from Blue Water Credit. Cool. So Sarah's here is, these are credit repair companies. You guys will help. Is that, is that the proper word? What do, you, what, do you, what do you say you do? Credit repair, credit restoration. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay I just make sure I got the right word so <laughs> I don't go bad. The one thing we always hear is when you run your credit through Credit Karma or some site online, and I pull it as a lender, they're dramatically different. Miss Sarah, what, 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 what's your answer? All right, so let me break it down. So the easiest way to uh, describe the difference is one is going to be a FICO score and one's going to be a Vantage score. So mm -hmm. FICO has been around for a long time, used in like 90% of lending <laughs> decisions. And even within FICO itself, there's I think like 28 different versions, whether or not it's a mortgage, an mm -hmm. auto loan, a credit card. Uh, Credit Karma uses a different scoring model called the Vantage and although they look at very similar mm -hmm. things like your utilization, your payment history, they put different weight on different categories. So if you're very strong in one category that Credit Karma doesn't really look favorable on, I mean it's not going to help you. So that's where you're going to just see the big right, differences right. there. So, so let's say that, so we talk about, you kind of popped in the conversation what's going to help us. Here's my rabbit hole, get ready guys, rabbit hole. <laughs> So we talk about you're talking about the FICO scoring model. Yes. So credit card was using Vantage. Now, as far as I know, I don't think Fannie and Freddie recognize that Vantage system yet, or they do. No, not yet. So I know that it was proposed that uh, going to a two bureau system okay. where you would have a FICO score 10T and then a Vantage 4.0. That was going to be the new adopted scores that mortgage companies were going to use. Um, I actually just read the other day that there's been a delay in that. Yeah. Um, just to make sure it's you know fairly scoring people and so yeah so as of right now Vantage is not used gotcha. in the mortgage world. And Fannie and Freddie are not fast speeders they're turtles. It's good. <laughs> sometimes good sometimes bad. Yeah. So let's keep going so let's go down credit score so if I run my credit report through different companies and they have different providers I'm assuming the scores may be I mean the system the models are using may be different how, how would that affect your score? Yeah, so I would say most lenders probably use the uh, models five, four, and two. Okay. Um, that's gonna be through your Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Okay. I believe some of them could possibly look at FICO score model eight, which is just like the common scoring model. So um, each of those scoring models are gonna have a different risk assessment. Okay. Obviously buying a house is a lot more riskier to lend to than someone buying a car or <laughs> getting a credit card. So. <laughs> Um, there are five categories they all look at, which is going to be your payment history, your credit utilization, your mix of credit, your age of credit, and then new credit that you open. Um, that's relatively the six categories or five categories that they look at there. Ooh, okay. So, so, make, so let's say this: if I have my credit report pulled, how do I know which model they're using? On the, I, mean, I know every credit report is different, yes. but is there a way to figure out which model they're using for their system? I mean, typically it should indicate at the bottom or somewhere on that report what model it is. I would tell most people if you are getting like a score update uh, through like your bank um, or through a credit monitoring system, most likely it's going to be that FICO scoring 8 model. Okay. Um, as far as I know, the really the only places you can get your mortgage FICO scores is going to be having your lender pull it. Yep. Um, or we'll direct people to a site called myfico.com gotcha. and you can pull um, your report from all three bureaus there and it will give you basically every scoring model score out there. I'll show your auto score, your mortgage score. Okay. And so if you're curious and you're not working with the lender yet or maybe your lender can't do yep. a soft poll, yep. um, that is a good alternative to go to. It's a very long report because it has a lot of scores in there, but yeah, just go down and look for the mortgage score. Okay. So another rabbit hole, let's go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> so here's another thing, so when I run credit for somebody. There's a soft pull versus a hard pull. Yes. Soft pull means I'm doing what we call an info credit report. It's not alerting all those little pack of wolves. <laughs> yes, it's right? a trigger lead right, right there. Right. <laughs> so can you explain the trigger lead conversation? Trigger lead is when I pull credit as a mortgage lender for a full-blown credit report and that does difference. They think I sold it. I never sell anything. I, I can't legally sell anything. Can you yeah. explain what trigger lead is? Yeah. So a trigger lead through the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they, um, the consumer credit reporting agencies like Experian, TransUnion, they sell your information. They wow. sell it to insurance companies, credit card companies, so that they can give you solid offers of credit. Right, right. Um, so when someone does a hard pull, it does alert these systems and then you may get an influx of calls. I heard yep. one lady got 99 calls one day and it can be very confusing. Yep. Is this my lender that's calling yep. me? Can you even do the loan that I'm doing? Um, we usually tell people to try opt out 
prescreen.com. Yep. Yep, yep. Super simple. I think it takes like three minutes. Plug yep. in a couple pieces of information. It does take about five days five, to go into effect. Um, so kind of maybe be proactive about yep. it. The it then blocks your information from being sold cool. for five years. Okay, cool. So you just have to renew it every five years. You yep. can always opt back in. And I also heard that they're trying to pass legislation where you would have to opt in instead of being able to opt out. So put it more on like okay. the, so that I know works. that that's a, a topic uh, in, in that's being lobbied okay, right okay, now. Okay, okay. Wow, so that's, that's a lot of stuff guys. <laughs> that's good, so we wanna make sure you guys are safe. So if we did opt out and went to the do not call list, would that help? We did add our, add our phone number to the do not call list or you know? Yeah, I think that those are definitely good measures to take. Right. I mean, our information is out there everywhere. Yep. So, yep. I mean, I don't think anything's 100% safeguard, but at least it hopefully should cut back, I would say, at least on 90% yeah, of the right. calls and offers that you get, like the, all the promotional offers yep. you yep. get yep. in the mail. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you want that garbage anyway. <laughs> leave, that mail, leave my mail be low. Yeah. I don't want that big old stack. Go out the garbage can. Da, 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 yeah. da, you know, just so much garbage. So where we go. So great. So let's let's wrap this one up. Let's do another video here. Okay. So how do we get a hold of you if we need help for our credit stuff? Um, so a couple different ways. You can visit our website, which is just bluewatercredit.com. You can request a consultation there. Um, or you can call us directly um, at 916-315-9190. We always do a risk-free consultation. Oh, nice. um, and then we'll let you know if you're a good candidate for our program or just give you some tips on how to improve your credit yourself. There you go. Well, like I said. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya.